Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our traction control in our S Manager software. So when we want to work with the Honda Auto Traction Control module, we need to set up and configure everything in that specific software so that we're going to have our wheel speeds reading right, they're going to be calibrated, and then when we send the signal, if we have any kind of loss of traction, into our S300 using our S Manager software, we're going to be able to program it so that we're able to calm down that wheel spin by using the traction control feature. So I'm going to be walking you through how to program and set up everything on the traction control software side of things, as well as setting up everything on the S Manager side of things. Now, in addition to that, we're going to be taking a look at what to look for in a data log and how to set up our graph template so we can utilize the traction control and know what to look for when we actually kick in the traction control and what we can do about programming it and making it work even better. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check everything out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our traction control and our Honda to S manager. So the first thing we're going to need to do is set up and configure our Honda to traction control module so it's going to be working right and it's going to read right. So we're going to jump up here to window. We're going to move down in here to traction control and our window is going to open up here. This is the software we're going to be doing our configuration and setup for our traction control module. Then once this is set up and configured, we can move into our S manager and make our adjustments. So the first thing we're going to do is jump in here and we're going to open up a file. So if we go to file open, we're going to find that we have a whole bunch of files to choose from. In this situation, I'm going to be choosing a file for or most familiar with my application. I'm going to choose 2000 Integra Type R. I'm going to be choosing this because we're on an S300. We're not on um, an 8th gen or a K-Pro application for a TSX or RSX or S2000. So I'll go choose this particular file and click open. Now once we open up the file, we're going to find that some of the data here has been populated for us and if we're panning through the tabs until we open that file. Nothing in here will be able to be edited and clicked on. So once we've opened the file up, we're able to start taking a look now of all the information in here. Now as long as you have your USB cable plugged into your traction control module into your laptop and it's powered on, we'll be able to see our live data here. So this is going to be showing us our wheel speeds, the average of the speeds, our front axle, rear axle speed, our vehicle speed, the configuration and setup for a lot of this information, we can see it'll be here. So depending on how we set things up here, it'll be displaying the live data a little bit differently here. Our input section here is going to be showing us the click position that we're on on our trim pot and the percentage slip or percentage allowable slip that's going to be shown right here so we can see the status at any time. Our calculations are going to be 